Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. You are. Okay, great. So, a very good evening to everyone. On behalf of ESL SPID, I would like to welcome you all to the Startup Bootcamp Day One. This workshop aims to unleash your true potential and begin your journey to transforming your business idea into a real startup. I'm excited to introduce our speaker for today, Ms. Malak Shah. She is a startup incubator manager and has been identifying and selecting potential startups for funding for over two years. She will guide us on the major problems that are present in the current startup scenario and how we can go about identifying and rectifying them. Malak ma'am, now I request you to begin with this session. Yeah, thank you so much, Pranati. Uh, I hope I'm audible to you all. Yes, ma'am. OK. So hello, everyone. Good evening. I hope you all are doing well. And uh, first of all, I th thank uh, Pranati for giving me such a good op opportunity to represent, uh, you know, for representing and, uh, you know, giving the best session for the startups. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I am I audible to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, my camera is not working. I hope you, you all can uh, bear it. No issues, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'll be making, uh, let's make the session very interactive. You all are open to ask any questions. You know, we'll just keep it 10 minutes before that. If you have any Q and A's, we can, uh, before the session en ends, we can keep it 10 minutes for the Q and A's. Okay, so uh, if you have any other questions, you know, you, are, you all are open to ask and open to participate. Okay, so I, I'm sure you must be knowing like what a startup is all about. How many of y'all know? Uh, y'all can raise hands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure you all, uh, every one of y'all are, uh, or some of the other people are keen to have your own startup, your own business. I'm sure. So basic, uh, so um, today I'm here to speak about the basic of the startup, which is a problem identification and how that a small problem can turn into an emergent startup okay so uh, first uh, first of all if you all uh, in in simple terms if you all can tell me what a startup is you know you can write it on the chat box just a simple word anything you all can write uh, okay so I'll tell you what a st uh, now let, let me introduce to what a startup is. So a startup is a company in the uh, which is uh, used as a term of operating in the first stage of the companies. They are, uh, startup is a term which is not only found by one particular person, but it can be more than one entrepreneurs. They want they develop a product or a services for which they believe where there is a demand. And you can, st uh, you obviously, you can run a business basis on your ideas and the research which you have done to run a business. So likewise, a startup is something which is started from a, a small steps to make it a big success. And there are, there are various kinds of startups. There are scalable startups like uh, which are already on the growth stages. There are small businesses, small businesses can be any, any of it. Like you, you know, you run your stores, you run your shops, you, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there are viable startups. There are social startups, social as in the NGOs, old age home, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I'm sure you must be, uh, everyone of you must be keen to start your own business, but there are people who do not have a viable idea and yeah so for uh, to uh, I, I would just like to tell you all that before you start with any of your business and if you are having a startup so uh, also i would like before that i uh, come down to this i would like to say uh, you know share something with you all is that uh, last year you know due to pandemic there are many people who lost their jobs and you know they were simply not able to understand like uh, now what further we can do 
how we can you know you know, to uh, to survive to live how what what are the steps we need to take so there are so many people who thought of uh, digitalization the technologies the technology boom, uh, which is booming the market so high so this is how there are so many people uh, uh, suppose me being a startup incubator manager i always analyze startups you know I, it's been like more than 3 years i'm into this field more than three uh, like uh, i i'm a, i'm a bms graduate and and an actuarial aspirant so uh, in this three years you know i've been doing lots of research and lots of studies on how a startup can be a success and there, uh, there is a possibility that a business can lead to success it can lead to failures but now in order to make your success, uh, startup successful what are the steps you need to take i'll just share that with you so see there are numerous startups who have blossomed not only because they have a, a revolutionary ideas like uh, see startups do not always become successful just based on the ideas or just based on the selling part but you know we can make a startup successful by trying to find out the solution to the problem and you know the uh, one small problem can emerge startup so beautifully you believe it or not okay so in uh, so i would like to share few things the, the startups uh, we have been funding for like uh, you know basically our idea is to fund startups so as far as like uh, the fundraising what funding we have done for startup we all we as an investor we as an advisors we always look at the ideas that an individual has in its mind and for example like uh, uh, i uh, we have now it's been like more than 200 plus startups we have funded and all and, and also there are so many startups which have been a failure that is what we have seen we have seen startups being successful as well the startups which we have funded okay so now i'll tell you how to manage and how to find a solution to the problem so before you, before that you start with any before having or starting with your own businesses there is you know you can write it you can note it down certain things that uh, that will be really useful to you all so you know there, there are various steps of creative problems see problems cannot be solved just financially or just by you know finding failures no how can we solve a problem a, a, a business problem a, it can be various problems to that so yeah so the first and foremost thing which is very important is that you you get you should have a clarity clarity as in what like if uh, if you find so suppose if you are having your own business if you are having your startup and you find that uh, <coughs> excuse me yeah so you know the many of you all you must be finding ki uh, now what ideas we are there is it a success it is a failure you know you test around so it is always necessary that you have a clear communication with the clients i mean what clarity you do lots of research you know you do lots of surveys before uh, I, i mean i'm sure the, uh, you know the start uh, the thing startup started in the year of 2016 january wherein people came up with so many beautiful ideas for example i you know I, I'll, i'll just tell you which all startups has has been success till now for example ola uber the tax uh, in the domain of taxis cars transport even amazon flipkart the me show me show i'll tell you it's one of the biggest success which has uh, been in the year 2021 currently the cred grofos you know this are playing so many uh, i mean this market uh, this, this startups have played so beautifully in the markets and uh, i'm sure you know all must be doing the online shopping thing i'm sure so the you know you you must be finding some of the other crooks like uh, suppose amazon if i if i tell you uh, if i'll share the stories about the amazon now amazon is 
is a portal where you know where people find it easier to shop online but now there are so many problems you know amazon has amazon and if you compare amazon and flipkart uh, flipkart in the past has faced too many problems but now at this point of time it is running so good because this is because flipkart uh, you had you know made clarifications like where are where are they going wrong and what are the steps they need to take to improve uh, maybe it can be a team building it can be uh, like it can be due to the uh, the product uh, it, it can also be the customer satisfaction so this is how from the failure even flipkart had a failure once but now today it is running beautifully the reason being uh, you know it is not always about the quality it is also about the quantities it is also about how you are doing better than before and the second thing which uh, i would say is that you need uh, you know other ideation the second point which i would uh, uh, which i would highlight over here is the ideation that is doing research and collecting lots of information so supposingly nowadays if you see the technology the digitalization in this technology and digitalization world we always see that uh, there are so many there, there are advantages and disadvantages advantage advantages being that it is being easier like uh, the school colleges have shut so uh, even last year uh, when i had so many startups who approached me for funding and that is you know the digital uh, digitalization as in uh, there was a white junior hat it was uh, uday dot uday online classes and all these people so the first thing i asked them is that uh, why do you require funding and how are you utilize uh, how are you going to further utilize it so uh, the one beautiful thing they said is that we want to we just don't want to uh, satisfy our customers with uh, with just the uh, the teachings and the classes and everything but we would like to make the world easier with providing good qualities with pro providing good quantities of it can be anything like activities the online activities studies etc etc <coughs> sorry and the third thing which i would like uh, would like to highlight is the development see uh, for starting any or any businesses you always require an access of solutions to find it cost effective the it is uh, also we should make sure that it is feasible to the customers how if you are having an any idea obviously you will have that one thing in mind is that how do i satisfy my customer i mean what uniqueness you have in your product or you have in your service that people should come to you and they should not go to someone else so it is very important that we do lots of research before starting with any kind of businesses and the fourth thing which i want to highlight here is the implementation implementation is what the solution of a problem which is already tested if you uh, after doing lots of surveys when you find that you know the particular person he or she you know is satisfied with your product with your research etc etc and the final solution which i would like to highlight here is the evaluation you know like uh, eva evaluation is the final studies or the final uh, what i can say is uh, you have done the uh, final research and then you test on the test and uh, you know you do all the trial and errors before that you uh, launch your product so definitely after the evaluation then you can explore your ideas to so many people and Uh, you know the bell, uh, what i would recommend you is in order and now uh, if you can just uh, you know now let's make the session quite interactive so if you all have any the questions you can you know you can you can ask me uh, i'll be very free to answer and uh, also if you want to write on the chat box i mean however you all are free to ask any questions or write if you have any the uh, any questions or anything regards to the startup so you know you can ask you are free to ask any questions okay so
so now maybe we can take it up in the end if it's if it's fine the uh, question round yeah sure we can do that yes absolutely okay so yeah so you know uh, i'm i'm sure uh, I, i do uh, like uh, i'm sure after passing out your uh, i mean after uh, after that you pass out i'm sure many of you the youth have that passion to have their own startup but so i would like to give you some a few advices and few things before you start with your startup is that always you, you know you can note it down certain things is that before you start with uh, with your business first and foremost thing is do a thorough research do a thorough research about any product any services it can be anything like startups can be either a, a, a launching sort of products or it can be if you want if you are providing services like banking services you can it, it, it can be a payment gateways like paytm gpay etc etc so and the second thing what i would like to tell you all is that also do the brainstorming brainstorming is a very important thing like uh, you know what uh, and and see there are so many things which can motivate you to start with start a uh, something of your own it can be anything it can be you know you can from a small thing whenever you start with something small and you know you can grow so beautifully you you can have your uh, business grown so beautifully that that is only possible when you are you know you need to stay tuned to the current markets you need to do lots of, you know you need to track the markets that today in uh, today at this point of time which are the things or which are the markets that are running rapidly uh, definitely technology is the one which is running quite rapidly quite faster second thing is the digitalization i mean yes last year uh, since last year in 2020 when digitalize uh, the entire world became a digitalization so definitely we had so many things online available we led our uh, i mean the students had their tuition classes schools they or everything operator uh, was online and the digitalization the uh, i mean uh, even if the stores and shops been closed we everyone used to order online and everything so you know one small thing can make your star one just one small problem can make i mean the ideas which you generate can make a beautiful booming to the startups and so for that i would advise you all is that always do a thorough research always have a clarity always do lots of networking only this is only possible when you do lots and lots of networking with so, with many people and also you need to interact with all the uh, with the clients you need to obviously like uh, also also i would recommend you few books the which you can refer that is uh, you, you know you can write it down the name of the books that is stay hungry stay foolish by ms rashmi banswal and the second book is the startup sutra by rohit prasad and uh, the third one is the dream with your eyes open by ronnie screwwala okay so i would like to tell you one thing this person ronnie screwwala he is a he is a he is a very big investor who has who has been investing in uh, in a successful startups like if you know uh, i mean how many of you know do any one of you know this app true fan okay true fan is a is an app which where you know more celebrities come and uh i mean they they wish you on your for your birthdays they motivate you you know i've seen karina uh, i've seen tiger shroff and everyone uh, who are a part of this true fan and uh, ronnie screwwala has been you know funding for this particular startup and this is what the uniqueness they thought you know i mean who i mean everyone loves to get attention right so this is also one unique idea which true fan has started and today it's running really successful so yeah uh, so are there any questions are there any i am i hope i'm clear from my side if you all you all are ha ha having any questions you know you are open to ask me so can we do uh, i mean i hope i'm clear from my side or is there anything else you would like to know
Uh, Ma'am, what are the main like red flags when uh, a, an, in, uh, a startup approaches you for funding? So like what makes you like reject them? What are the main red flags that you see in a startup potentially? Okay, very good question, Arjun. So see, basically, um, we, we since before that we fund for the startups, there are things which we look for is their revenue. Without revenue, you know, we cannot fund any of the startup. And if it is an idea state startup, like uh, now if, if we are the part of this incubation, okay, so it is very important that we look the uniqueness of the ideas for funding, like it can be any amount, it can be one CR, it can be more than that, okay. So there are like, uh, there, there are certain things. Firstly, is the revenue. Secondly, it's the uniqueness of the product. And thirdly, the pre-money valuations, that is if they have approached any investors before for uh, for the fundraising, and uh, you know it can be uh, startups are rejected also by many investors. They, they they were rejected. So yes, so these are the three things which we look before funding. Okay, are you someone has bank. Yes. So are you sure? You know, you can start networking. LinkedIn is the best source wherein you can get, or you can even attend conferences wherein you get to network so many people. And this is how we do it. Like, uh, we, you know, now we have been, we ha ourselves have also been uh, guest speakers and our founder, who is Mr. Rupin Doctor, he is a CNN speaker. So, you know, you can, uh, the best way for networking is that uh, you can start networking on LinkedIn, approach people, talk to them, introduce yourself to them and uh, share any of your ideas with them. And yeah, before that, um, you know, I would like to say that I am a part of a smart game incubation, wherein we help early stage and the growth stage businesses for fundraising. We uh, and I being a startup incubator manager, I initiate and I analyze the deals. Before that, I finalize them for fundraising. I always look, I, I always make sure that, uh, you know, they have a good revenue, a good turnover, and also their financials and uh, projections are stronger. And we are uh, like, we're also apart from India, we have our offices in Singapore and Dubai. And we also have, we have catered and mentored Barcelona government. And we have also done funding for Dubai, uh, the countries like Dubai, Hong Kong, Singapore, and we have we have also done for Germany. I mean, we have clients across India and overseas too. Uh, okay, there is a there is a question from Sakshi. What kind of startups should one come up with for the Indian market? So Sakshi, you know, for that, you need to stay tuned, like, you know, you need to, uh, regu on the regular basis, you need to see, like, currently, which market is running good. And, uh, for example, see, the, like I mentioned earlier also, and now also, that the technologies, the digitalization, and everything. I mean, it should, it should be your passion. And you can convert your passion into the uh, technologies as well. For example, if you are fond of starting up with any anything of your own, ultimately it is going to be a digitalization platform. So yeah, so you know you need to stay tuned with all the markets currently, which is boosting up, and you also need to follow and keep reading more. I mean, you you should keep following Economic Times. You can you can you know Times of India will help you better that currently what markets are running good and if you want to start something of your own well, like what demand do the customers or people here in the indian markets have i hope i have cleared your question sakshi okay uh, there is a question from ayush that how can we ensure that if we pitch our idea to someone then they don't steal it or build it on their own Okay, so are you sure, you know, before that you start, you always need to have the disclaimers. So if people, I mean, if you get it approved, you know, you need to get it approved by the government, the, the, the local bodies or something so that people don't steal your ideas. Always it is very important that you have the disclaimers and you get it approved and you get it registered. And without 
you not get, I mean, without if you don't get your company registered, there are chances that people might steal your ideas. Uh, you know, they, it my, I mean, uh, it can be a case of plagiarism as well. So to avoid this, it is very important that you get yourself registered. Okay, Yash. Uh, so your question is that uh, what kind of parameters should be taken into consideration for analyzing and early stage tech startups? Okay. Uh, so this is something which I can really guide you well on is. So see the parameters which you need to follow uh, in the in the early in, in the initial stage of a startup is that you need to make sure that technologies which you are using okay uh, it should not be like the similar to the already which is you know like uh, if you talk about the technology I mean it is better if it if, if it is not just the same as the earlier uh, which is already a successful you know, you should, uh, even if you are using a technology, you should be very smart enough and you should be very much like innovative. You know, you need to think out of the box so that even, you know, see, there, there are startups which, uh, which were on the early stage and they, they were, they have become successful even by having a small amount. They had bootstrapped, bootstrapped as in they had, um, spent from their own pockets and they started the business and right now they are running so beautifully so yeah so uh, these are the only parameters that it uh, i mean your idea should be different than or than the one which is already successful then it, it can be taken into consideration for fundraising or you know for any other things i hope i have cleared your question yash okay so you know this would be really good like uh, if you whenever you pass out uh, or uh, i mean after you're passing out your college and if you want to start something of your own this is really the good time and this this might give you I and mean, this this might really work wonders for you all so you know i mean uh, also one tip i would like to give you all is that don't just start a business for the passion passion is one thing but just just find a solution to the problems like it can be any like uh, you know uh, there are so many people we, we are having so many problems in this world but one solution only it is you who can find it out it can be and and it will work out so beautifully only if you do your proper research only if you do a proper brainstorming i i mean yeah i i'm sure you must be like uh, you all being from a technology background you all know better like how to operate things how to uh, you know how uh, how to solve problems so i'm sure like so it is always better though, that before you start with something of your own it is always better that before starting interact with many people who are in the same uh, who, who are in the same domains and uh, one thing uh, also one uh, uh, there are uh, there is one thing i would like to tell you is that see now now ideas are much easier but the implementation for so many people is so hard why it is that because the uh, ideas are beautiful but sometimes the beautiful ideas also don't work out why because you are having lack of research you are having lack of knowledge you are having lack of uh, networking you are having lack of interactions there are so many things but in order to make your startup run successfully you should never give up i mean there are there are chances that you know you you might face so many failures so many challenges etc etc but the only tip i would like to give you is that always use your use the feedback of your client as your motivation and not as a what i can say as a complaint or not as a uh, what i can say is that uh, do, do not consider yourself a failure if your ideas don't work. Just don't give up. And always have one thing in mind is that, you know, you can always find a solution. And this is how we can make our India a better India a better place. If you find a solution, if you do the right thing, and yeah, and you need to get, uh, I mean, uh, you, you know, you need to follow many steps. So I, I've also to, uh, I've also given you the references of the books you can start. I mean, whoever wants to start with their own businesses, they uh, you know you can uh, refer to those books which I have already mentioned. If you want, I I can write it on the chat box. 
so you know this this might really help you in your daily life you know you should uh, always refer to this book stay hungry and stay foolish by rashmi banswal this will really help you like whoever who uh, whoever wants to start to with their own businesses you know this will be a very good uh, reference i rather i can say and uh, yeah and you know uh, also we uh, also one thing i wanted to tell you is that uh, we are some sir and advisors so if anyone of you who are starting up with a business or something if you have any inquiries you know you can anytime uh, uh, get in touch with pranati and she can always you know uh, always get me uh, on onto this platform for guiding you much better for how you can make your business run successful uh, so is there any other are there any other questions uh, i mean from your side you know you are open to interact okay so before that uh, if you all can raise hands like who are planning to start with a with a business who wants to have their own startup who wants to uh, i mean who are planning after after you all pass out of college okay okay so uh, i i can i can see the hands raised from anmol from sakshi so if you all can tell me what kind of startup uh, are you look uh, i mean are you looking out to have your own business okay okay so let's start uh, like uh, yash if you can tell me what kind of startup are you looking uh, yash jain if you can tell me like uh, what is the startup you you are planning to do in future mom haven't figured out yet but like i'm trying to find out the problem and then the solution would ultimately transform into a startup okay so what is like uh, so yes uh, what are the problems that you are like uh, uh, in, like what particular if you can elaborate on this what particular problems are you looking out i, I mean for what uh, problems you have seen or you have been facing to look out the solutions for Uh, ma'am, there are a lot of problems. I don't know. Like I haven't concentrated yet, but traffic is a major issue. Then, like there are a lot of issues. I haven't concentrated on any uh, particular topic as of now. Okay. All right. So yeah. So yes. Yeah, what I would say is that uh, you know, if you are uh, like genuinely looking out to solve these problems. uh again and again i'll be repeating that uh, do do a thorough research on that on the particular problem that if you really are intending to come up with solutions you know do do lots of do a thorough study first and then you you know you can see yourself like uh, you finding a proper solution to the problems always keep on doing lots of research and stay tuned to the markets and stay tuned to the why the problems currently if the problems are taking place why is it happening so you know constantly just stay tuned and stay um, what i can say stay like build awareness if you are really starting up uh, if you are really looking out to start with your own business so uh, i'm sure, uh, i hope i've uh, i've cleared your query yes okay so who else uh, who, who else is looking out to start uh, who is who, who is planning to st- uh, do a startup how many people are of you how many of you are uh, planning to you know do a startup so uh, any of uh, so any of you who are interested or who are planning to do a startup you know even we ourselves we uh, conduct few seminars and sessions which uh, I'll, I'll 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 keep uh, pranati informed about that and wherein my founder mr rupin doctor even he mentors all the startups even we mentor we guide them and we also at the end we also help them for the fundraising activities 
so you all can anytime get in touch and uh, pranati I'll, I, i'll keep you informed if uh, any of you are uh, planning to uh, start a business uh, that is a startup or if they have any other ideas we do mentor them and we guide them in a proper way so that you know they can get a good motivation okay so are there any questions from your end if you would like to ask ma'am nidhi has a question no uh, yes yes nidhi okay so why do startups fail which mistakes should uh, uh just a moment okay and which mistakes should one avoid so like nidhi uh, the reason why startups fail is that people are not people do not people are mostly people are not aware about the markets like currently if you are starting with anything you know they they don't do proper research they don't do proper surveys this is what the mistakes which you should avoid is that always do a research i mean see every business is makes mistakes everyone makes mistakes and but now you need to see that uh, how to improve and so in order to avoid making mistakes always do a uh, always prepare a survey always prepare uh, always uh, interact with the clients that uh, where are we going wrong you know what is going wrong with us that we are making such mistakes and startups see there there are failures i mean you, you do not have the proper uh, what i can say is uh, you do not have the proper reason that why startups fail there are many things i mean financially also startups do fail whether they are not doing they are not able to sell to the maximum you know month they do not uh, have the monthly saving so good and they do not uh, make the revenue so this is how the startups fail i hope i'm clear nidhi okay so you know what i recommend you all is that uh, do refer to this books it will be really very it will be really very helpful to you all and if you need any kind of guidance you know we we even we conduct such sessions and we are conduct upon mentoring the startups and guiding them so you all can any time get in touch with us i'll i'll keep pranati updated for such things if you all are seriously uh, interested you know so you can any time Uh, connect with pranati and then we uh, uh, likewise even we will get uh, connected to you again uh, okay so we have a question from tanya is that do startups need lawyers in the starting stage well tanya uh, not really in the starting stage because uh, you know before that you get lawyers on board it is very important that your ideas should be accepted i mean uh, if you are if you are having your own ideas it is very important that it, it gets accepted before that you hire but yes definitely startups do need requ require lawyers but not in the starting stage they require lawyers once you are registered and once you are uh, i mean uh, before that after after your idea and everything is done and you are looking out for fundraising definitely you need lawyers you need mandate signed by the companies and everything so yeah okay uh, i hope you got it tanya i mean i hope your query is clear so yeah good to, I, i'm i'm so glad to see so many people participating and i'm sure you all are uh, yeah, I, i mean uh, the generation nowadays it, it, it evolves so much of the ideas technologies and so on so you know i uh, i would be very guide to mentor you all in such things like if, if you all are really thinking to start a beautiful uh, if you are thinking to come up with good ideas good innovative ideas so you know i'll be very happy to guide you all in this and uh, definitely like uh, this I, i'm i'm really i feel really glad that there are so many viewers of you all who joined this session and i really thank you all uh, thank all of you those were some wise words ma'am i'm sure everyone has cleared their doubts uh, the learnings from this webinar would definitely inspiring and i really hope that everyone turns their business ideas and scale it up to the startup
And Malak ma'am, thank you so much for taking some time from your busy schedule and coming as a speaker for this webinar. Yes, um, thank you so much. And uh, also one thing, I'll keep you updated whenever we are having our seminars, workshops, uh, nearly for the startups. Mm. And uh, just, just once uh, before that we end up with a session, I would just like to give an introduction about, uh, about us. So basically, I have been a part of Smart Gain for the past uh, three, three and a half years. And uh, Smart Gain is, an, is a firm, uh, we are an advisory firm wherein we have our offices in Singapore and Dubai, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, Mr. Rupin Doctor, who is the founder of Smart Gain, he has been a private banker in Dubai for the past 25 odd years. And uh, later on, we, we are into this business since last uh, 25 years, but now it's been five years that uh, we are running in India. And uh, so see, also we, we do majorly specialize into debt financing and startups as well, wherein we also uh, like we do debt financing as in we provide loans to the individuals, any kind of loans it can be. And also like uh, also I, I need to mention one thing over here is that we are partners with Junjunwala's group. I'm sure you must every one of you know Rakesh Junjunwala. So we are an associate partners with them and, and also we are partners with Times of India. And uh, also like uh, we last year we have won an uh, in the month of February we won uh, an award for the best SME. Uh, for for the uh, I mean merely for the delivery and funding uh, we, we we won an award for that and also Mr. Rupin is a CNN speaker and he uh, he is also visiting faculty at Dubai Patel so in case uh, if, if we we will be soon mentoring the uh, we'll soon start with a mentoring session for the startups so if any of you are uh, interested you know you can get in touch with Pranati. And uh, Prana, uh, Pranati will surely let me know about this. So let me know when, if you all are interested. Or we do conduct sessions, seminars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Definitely, ma'am. Um, if anyone wants to reach out, we can do that. Uh, not an issue. So yeah, um, guys, I really request every one of you to fill the form given in the chat box. That would be really helpful. Okay. Thank you so much for the session, ma'am. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I, I hope uh, it was uh, productive to everyone. So you, you know, you, you know, you can leave down the comments if you really liked it. So it, can, I, you know, I can, uh, I can come to know if I've, uh, if I've guided you really well, or you know, if you can just uh, write the comment. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. And I really wish you all the very best. Uh, if you're starting with something of your own, I really uh, wish, you, wish you the good and wish you the best. And if, if there's anything else, uh, if you require any kind of guidance, mentor, mentorship or anything, you, know, you can anytime get in touch with me. You can follow me on LinkedIn. I'm, all, I'm always there. My name is Malak Shah. I'm just writing my name. If, you, if in case if you would like to follow me on LinkedIn, you, I'm available there and uh, definitely so this was really a, a very good and, and I'm really happy to be a part of this and thank you so much Pranati thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to uh, share regarding the startups pleasure is all mine ma'am it was great having you over thank you oh. everyone for attending yeah thank you thank you so much everyone for you know having good patience to listen uh, so yeah, I, now I take a, I'll, I'll take a leave now. Come on. Okay, thank you.